Are you looking for the one person who will be your perfect partner? Are you swiping through dating apps and not getting any results? Are you worried about how time is ticking by and you are still single? Or are you just simply frustrated with the constant questions from family members on whether you have a girlfriend or boyfriend or when are you getting married? Hi everyone, Leon here. Welcome back to my channel, the best place to learn more in less time. In this video, I'm going to share with you the idea of why finding the one or the perfect one or the perfect partner for you is not exactly a good idea. And it could even be damaging to how you view your relationship. Oh my god! When you believe that there is the one for you, you're putting a lot of certainty on this person that they will fulfill your every needs. They will never have any disagreements or be angry with you. That they are perfect with no flaws. That they will make you feel wonderful and cared for for all the time. And they will be with you no matter what and never make you sad and the list can go on and on. Can you see where this is leading to? Can you see how perfect this person will need to be to be the one for you? You are literally setting up yourself for disappointment by believing that there's this perfect being who is the one for you. Now let's flip this around and see if you can be so certain to be the one for your partner as well. Can you feel the tremendous amount of pressure that is on you to be that perfect one? This leads me to another common phrase that is glamorized by Hollywood. You complete me. This sounds so romantic and full of love and warm and that we are finally complete when we find the one. But this concept is flawed. We don't need another person to feel complete. You are already complete yourself. All you need is within you now. When you have this belief that you need another person to complete you, you will never feel enough. You have already given half the power away to another person. And no matter how much you do, how well you do in your life, how much you have achieved, even when you have put in your 100%, you are just still 50% because you have given that power, the other 50%, to another person to determine whether you are complete or not. Love is not about finding the one or the other half to complete you. It's about knowing what you want and don't want in a relationship and then choosing a person to be with you on your journey of love and life. I recommend you to watch this video to know how to select a partner there's no perfect person who will be able to satisfy all your needs. Every person has their own set of issues to deal with. By choosing one person, you are choosing to deal with those issues with them. By choosing another person, you are choosing to deal with another set of issues. Love takes time and effort to build. It is a journey where two people choose to love each other and care for each other, not only in times of happiness but in times of sadness too. It is a journey of creating a shared meaning together. And it is never one that is perfect, that everything will fall into place with just a snap of the fingers. There will be disagreements, fights, and problems that comes up, but that's a natural part of the journey, and they are not there to make you give up. They are there to help you create a deeper bond and connection with your partner as you continue to consciously choose your partner and learning how to love and fulfill each other's needs even more along the way. So live and love passionately.